Can I get about two minutes? Hey, can we get two minutes? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You good on town? You know, the, the primary purpose and reason for coming here to Barber, of course, with the test all along, we were planning on coming because of the guys that I'm coaching, uh, like Jake Gagne on the Attack Yamaha team. And so there was a, always a plan to come here and then serendipitously it worked out that we would get to test our 600 that we were gonna be riding in the Daytona 200. So we decided we would dedicate a day to running it in and making sure that everything was good. Then when we got here and found out that uh, unfortunately Matt Skoltz had fallen down, here we go with another you know Blue Crew and Yamaha team, uh, personal friends over at Westby Racing, and they asked me uh, you know they really needed some data on their superbike and some of the upgrades and updates that they've made for 2020. And uh, asked me if I could step in and, and play some Maddie and get some laps on a superbike, which was a lot of fun because it's been a little while since I've ridden a proper superbike like that. So to be able to jump in there and, uh, and help out pretty seamlessly was fantastic. Well, getting to ride the superbike first definitely helped my brain get up to speed. There's definitely the possibility that had I just jumped on the 600 and started riding in the morning on, on, on just a perfect conditions day, the getting up to speed thing, we would have kind of gone through a different process to get to to feeling like, okay, everything's real good. I may not have made a lot of changes, but there would have been a getting up to speed part of it. But riding the superbike first, even in the dodgy weather conditions to run in some information for those guys, helped my brain get up to speed. And so when I jumped on it, I was able to just get there pretty quickly and be real happy with things and feel like I had room to grow and continue to do better uh, without risking too much, you know? I think it was a little frantic for Melissa to, for me to have so many jobs and we ended up only doing a handful of laps, but it was amazing. Like that 600, uh, man, it just makes sense to me. I have so much fun riding it and uh, I jumped on it, got up to speed so quickly and, and immediately felt at home. You know, M Melissa uses these opportunities of me riding her motorcycle as a chance to learn, quite honestly, you know. She really wants to utilize that opportunity uh, for us to, to make headway and, and for her to learn on her side a lot. So it's really difficult when she gave me such a good motorcycle, I'm so happy riding it that, you know, it, 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 I didn't know what to tell her. I don't know what to change at this point, you know. I felt like I got to a pretty good pace, and when we judged it off of the other 600s, we were on uh, up to speed quite well. So um, it, it is difficult, but I'm confident, I'm happy, and, and she's done a fantastic job of prepping the motorcycle and the information that we had from racing it last year, and we feel like we have done a proper job and it's ready to go. So where she wanted to go through some of the hardships of trying to change some suspension and stuff, man, I was just pretty happy with the machine. So, I mean, I'm sure it can all change when we get there and you get out there with the other motorcycles and the gap isn't what you want it to be. So you try to find some more time, you know, but um, she did such a fantastic job and, and it was really difficult because it was a lot of limited testing and we thought we would get to ride considerably more, but it got compressed into a small time frame. I feel really, really strong going into Daytona uh, with the new engine that we got built by Hudson Cycles and Curtis Tom. We're excited to uh, get out there and, and hopefully show what we can do in this year's Daytona 200.